Hope you're well, welcome to my channel. So this is where I talk about Twin Flame Process and these are the monthlies by Sunsign for September 2023. If anybody wants to get a more in-depth personal reading or do a Skype session, all my information is on my website and the link to that is in the description box below. So I hope you have a very good month, lots of love and see you in the next video. Sagittarius September 2023. Okay, what have we got for Sagittarius? Let's have a look. Okay, they're showing me a tunnel. It's a train track and there's a tunnel. And um, let's have a look. There's a lot of people standing at the front of it. Are they waiting for something to come out or are they waiting to go in? I can't really see what's going on. Oh, they're waiting for word. All right, something's supposed to come out of that tunnel. <laughs> uh, so they're all standing in front of this very dark tunnel. You can't see anything. It's just black. There's not a glimmer. But they're waiting for something to come from it. They're waiting for word, as they've said. So they're waiting for information to come out of where there's been nothing. They're all standing around. I mean, I've got here Native Americans. I've got here uh, small animals. I've got people with um, various, like, uh, you know, in the dress of various um, centuries and... Uh, uh, what do you call it, um, countries, stuff like that. Feel, looks like they've all been waiting for a long time. It's like waiting for a bus <laughs> that's, that's not come along, you know. It's like there's a sense of boredom of these people that are waiting. There's a sense of kind of like they're all meandering around, you know. Like it's been a long wait, basically. They're so used to waiting. It's been a really long wait outside this tunnel for whatever it is to come out of there. And also, the tunnel is kind of changing into a wagon. You know, the wagons that went across the United States when the invaders uh, took over the native lands and moved slowly through. It's like one of those wa wagons. Something moving along, a slow transformation. Uh, you know, the transformation of the United, of North America into what we know as the United States, a slow transformation. It's kind of that representative of that kind of energy. Um, that slow movement. Let's have a look. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Let's see what else we've got. So it's coming along, the wounded warrior, basically. Empress Rebirth. Queen of Swords, uh, which is the brain of the feminine. Uh, they just said elusive. So it feels like maybe there's something that needs to be click into place in, in terms of like inside of your psyche. Something that you need to let go of. Something that you need to just, it's just one little thing, right? That you need to like cut from your mentality. There is something here that's upside down. They're saying, oh, look. Nine of Wands is upside down. So, and so is the Empress, actually. It feels like there's some little piece of the way that you think that needs to, you need to just cut out. So, and it's really interesting the way they were saying about this movement across North America, like the wagons and, um, and how it's a slow transformation 
but actually the transformation of that was light to dark because they took away the native lands and they masqueraded as, as owners of that land, right? So what is it that you are, that's in your psyche that needs to be reversed? There's some way that you're looking at something uh, where you need to let go of. Uh, there's a convolution of thinking in terms of your understanding of the principles of what you're dealing with. You need to let go of negativity. So it needs to be dark to light. So you're, what is it you're hanging on to that's regarding your twin flame connection where you're seeing yourself as the one that's hard done by where you need to let go of that. We're not saying replace it with anything else. It's not about putting someone on a pedestal and saying, well, they were right and I was wrong. It's just about letting go of a sense of foreboding Right, because when you're hanging on to something that is a negativity, in a way of thinking, that sense of that brings about a sense of foreboding, which is equivalent. Well, it's the same thing as fear and worry. So it could be anything, actually. It's a matter of fact, they said. So it's something that went on between you and your twin flame, a factual thing, maybe that was said between you or was done between you, where you're hanging on to that. And you're using it against yourself. You have to evolve your understanding around the twin flame um, process. That it's an energetic process so everything is right exactly the way it is. So you let go of the human uh, human understanding. It's like you're on a it's like you're on a um, Ferris wheel, right? So when you get in you down the bottom. And it's all in the human understanding. So it's like, he did that, he said that, he shouldn't have said that. I felt that because he said that, he shouldn't have done that to me. He was that, he shouldn't have been that, or she, or whatever. Right, and then you, the wheel goes, you go up. As you get to the top, you let go of it all. So you drop all that human understanding. And you're like, no, everything was exactly the way it should be. Because if he hadn't done that, and if he hadn't said that, and he hadn't been that, then I wouldn't have been able to heal from that. So everything between twin flames happens exactly the way it's meant to do so you can heal from it. So you're not here to heal from it because you have to heal. You're here to heal from what is negativity because that's your job. That's why you came here. You came here to investigate a negative relationship and how that affects a human being and then to move beyond that and to let go of all that and that's moving beyond the human aspect and that becomes a healing of the human being. So the healing of the human being is not staying in the negativity, it's letting go of the negativity and understanding that you don't have to stay in it. Just that, you don't, otherwise you're stuck here at the top of the wheel, you ain't gonna move forward until you let go, right? You just got to let go of it being anything that you have to hang on to. It's like, Every time this thing is trying to move forward, you're hitting upon it. If, but, what if? <laughs> and that all those like should have been, could have been. Uh, he was this, he was that. It shouldn't have been like it's all stopping it moving forward, right? It's all resistance. Letting go of the resistance is everything is exactly the way it's meant to be, and you move forward, right? And you go through that again and again, but it's like. So there's something here to involve the rebirth. What well, this is like a bright day, they're saying. The Empress is like it's everything's re it's like waking up in the morning, throwing open the curtains and the windows, and there's birds singing it's spring, and everything is new, and you breathe in like fresh air and it feels good, and there's no feeling of negativity inside of yourself, right? So before your twin flame reunion comes this feeling inside of yourself that it's all right to basically just be alive. And that everything is just pleasant. And pleasant means letting go. It means not, not caring about how things have been in the past. Or what was said in the past. Or what was done in the past. And not hanging on to it. Because as they say, if you hang on to anger, you're just 
hurting yourself, right? It's like holding onto a hot coal and you just burn your own hand. Uh, we've got strength, masculine and feminine at play. So that's what this is about. So the masculine coming to you, the masculine energy, not a person, an energy of that person, maybe with memories of that person and memories of instances that you have experienced between you and that person coming up again in your brain for you to let go of it. Healing. Masculine and feminine energetically come together for healing. So when you come back into contact with your memories of that person that is your twin flame, it's dropping the hot coal. That's the essence of the game, right? You see the whole hot coal and how it's burning your hand and you drop it and you let go. You don't keep hanging on to it until your hand dissolves in pain, saying it should have been a different way. You should have said this. You should have said that. You shouldn't have done this. I am in pain, I am in pain, I am in pain. You've got to drop the hot cold, you'll stop being in pain. And then we've got tower, which is ending, right? So how much of that hanging on to the hot coal is actually what you think you should be doing? Oh, someone hurt me, so I need to like remind myself of that every day. Something hurt, I need to remind myself of it every day. You know, it could be anything. Everything in your life, if you're a twin flame, is part of your twin flame connection and your process. So anyone else dying, anyone else abandoning you, anyone else saying anything to you, you know, telling you that you're not good enough or whatever, that's all the same thing. It's all about your twin flame process. It's all as one. So whenever you remind yourself of those things and you go into any kind of blame, shame, anger, resentment, that's hanging on to the hot coal, right? So you need to just view it all the same thing and let go of it all. And the only answer to that is it all happened for the reason for me to let go of it. Because what is healing? Healing is letting go. So you can't let go of something if you've got nothing to let go of. So all those things that happen to you on your twin flame process, which is your life, are meant to happen because otherwise you wouldn't have anything to let go of. So it's all happening for a reason however hard it might seem. And the answer is always letting go. It's not hanging on. Because if you hang on, you're still stuck at the top of the Ferris wheel and you're not going to move on. Right? Every time you just let go little bit by little bit, like by little bit, like by little bit, until it's all gone. Until you rest easy and the wheel just spins and it's like someone's just oiled it and it's flowing and you flow and life is free and life is easy and you're like okay everything was meant to be and it's all meant to be and that's the, the tower right and then we've got here an energy moving on the knight of wands so it all moves on from there so this month somehow you're gonna I feel like you're gonna be at the top of the world it's gonna be like Ugh! and you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna suddenly move on Oh, look, King of Swords coming out opposite Queen of Swords. So this is communication between twin, twin flames. So it's what's in your brain that's in their brain that's keeping it all stuck at the top of the wheel, basically. So you're letting go of your mental aspect is required for them to come into being in their mental aspect in a state of let go. So what you want between twin flames is a state of let go, basically, to end the whole thing. It's a state of let go. So it means that you look at what you're thinking about and you decide to not think about it. Because as a feminine creator, the number three, you have to be in awareness of the process. So you're the creator principle of the process. So you're looking at what's going on in your brain. Oh, I'm thinking neg negatively again. Okay, I must let, let go. I'm Namako Rengeko. I must let go. Right, what's it going to take to make you let go? Chanting lets, makes you let go. Because if you interfere with your mental aspect through a repetitive chant, you've got no space to think. Namako Rengako, Namako Rengako, whatever. That's what you need to put in place to let your brain let go. When the feminine brain lets go, energetically the masculine brain lets go. So the masculine brain, instead of being like, I hate myself, I can't do this, I can't do that, I shouldn't do this, I mustn't do that. I hate myself, I can't do this, I shouldn't do that, I mustn't do that. It's going to be like, ah, and let go. And little pops of higher consciousness will get in there going, oh, I think I could do that. Maybe I feel like I could do that. 
because they're going to flow, right? So it's all about the flow. Queen of Wands and vibrational creation, and that's how it creates through the vibration, right? So whatever it is you're looking at, whether it's emotional, mental, physical, it's you always divert back to vibrational understanding. So you can't be saying, oh, this is how I think, so this is what I think, so this is what it is. You have to be, this is what I think, this is how I think, and it's because of the energy, right? And the energy tells me something better and something more profound and more where I have more ability to maneuver around my human aspects of thinking and feeling. So you come around them in a, through your vibrational self. You circle around them and you come in from a broader perspective and you take yourself away from them. And through that is growth and rebirth for you and for the masculine because it's the feminine's got to do it. That's why we've got feminine vibration down there and divine love, right? So that's how it's all coming about. Through you, feminine, ending masculine way of thinking what you're doing in your head how are you thinking how are you using your brain to like complain and moan about what that what is right if you're doing that that's what's going on in the masculine brain so you stop doing it end it the masculine brain won't be doing it it will no longer be wounded and there you have your divine resolution the lovers in direct association with the ending in the brain higher self underneath the tower ending let go higher self what is higher self in terms of all of this well it's not thinking because it's beyond thinking so it isn't coming up with conclusions or reasons or answers because none of those will be right from a thinking perspective because they're always going to hit up upon something that is egoic and ego is always negative. Ego will always tell you something's wrong. Ego will always tell you that something should be different. Ego will always tell you that there is no higher self. Ego thinks it is supreme. But what is supreme is higher consciousness. Higher consciousness is called higher consciousness because it's higher than lower consciousness, which is ego. So all these... Uh, Accessing any information through psychology that wants to give you a, a that wants to keep you lower than higher consciousness, basically, and wants you keep you running around in your head, right? To try and like that Ferris wheel, running around in your head with thoughts, it's not going to let you get to higher consciousness. So you need to put the books down about things like limerence. <laughs> Right, because limerence is a psychological perspective and it is not higher consciousness. First and foremost is vibration, is energy. Energy is without um, judgment. It does not judge. It is what is, right? And it works in, it's, it meanders <laughs> in miraculous ways, right? And it is pow all powerful. So, there's a big let go. And I think I will leave it at that for that one, for Sagittarius. And lots of love and see you next time.